but we know how to use the application of the bank. Why? Because it's important. We know how to use the application, the other applications of WhatsApp. You know, I asked someone uh, a few moments ago, do you have WhatsApp? He says, I have WhatsApp, not just me, but even my... abcmouse.com sound. There are lots of H words in this song. How many can you hear? I hope you'll happily sing along. Here we go. Ha ha ho ho he he he. Sing this happy song with me. How many H words can there be? H is the letter that follows G. Now ho hum Harry had a hammer. How he liked Sister Hannah found it. Half a herd of hippos hung out in a huddle. They had a most hilarious time hip hopping in a puddle. Ha ha ho ho he he he. Sing this happy song with me. How many H words can be? Is the letter that follows G. For 
ABCMouse.com Aren't you pretty? Let's put you in with the others. There are four butterflies in the cage already. Add one more, that will make five all together. Hi your new friends! Hi, Mia! Whoa! Cool butterflies! How many are there? 
There were four. And then I put one more in to join them. Now there are five total. Oh, look, there are two. Oh, don't move, Alfred. <laughs> it's okay if you open your eyes. It's okay if you breathe too, just not too loud. Oh. There were five butterflies in the cage. Two more, so we have seven butterflies in all. Right. If we add two and five, we get seven. Now, look what I have over here. Ooh, caterpillars. Two of them. In a few weeks, they'll be butterflies. Let's see if we can find some more. Uh, hmm. Oh, look! There's two more! Ooh, let's put them in with the other two caterpillars. So, we had two caterpillars, and now we're putting in two more. That makes a total of four! Right! Hey, let's put this one in too, Mia. I can't wait for it to turn into a butterfly. You're going to be waiting a long time for that one to turn into a butterfly, Alfred. That's an earthworm! Six, seven. We've got butterflies, Mia, and lots more to catch. If we're going to catch more, we should move them to this bigger cage. Oh, good idea! Hang on, Alfred. Let me get the net first. Oh. Oops. Sorry. That's okay. Let's see. We had seven, and five flew away. So there are two butterflies left in the cage. Oh, three came back. Quick, close the door. Now we have five butterflies to move into the bigger cage because three added to two is five. This time, I'll hold the net while you open the door slowly. Oh, you did it! We had five and you took away one and moved it to the other cage. We have four left to move. Whoa, you caught two at the same time! Ooh, that's twice as hard. Okay, we had to move four. I took two away from that cage and to this cage. That leaves two left to move. Now we have room to catch more butterflies. isn't flying away. Room with my brother. I bet this one likes having his own room. <laughs> All right. Listen up, fishies. It's the first day of fish school. 
Time to learn to swim in groups. First up, the green fish. Okay, we have one green fish. Ready for me. Yeah, ready to swim, coach. Come on out, red fish. And we have six red fish. Red fish reporting for duty. How nice of you to join us. Oh, you're welcome. All right. Six red fish join one green fish. We have seven fish. Six added to one makes seven fish all together. Oh, 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 yeah! Now, do the front stroke. Next, I need my purple fish. Now, where's my white fish? And one white fish. Now, join together, fishies. There's seven fish. One added to six makes a total of seven. Now, let's see your zigzag stroke. Next up, let's see the black fish. All right. I see three black fish. We're triplets. That means there's three of us. One, two, three. Well, now I know you can count. So let's see if you can swim in groups. Come on out, orange fish. Holy mackerels. Six orange fish. Together, there are nine fish. Come on, fish. Makes nine fish all together. Nine, nine. We're so fun. We'll see about that. Let's see your backwards stroke. Next, blue fish. Now, blue fish. Right, blue fish and brown fish. One group. Six and three make in all. We're blue and we're brown, and you can't keep us out. Maybe. Let's see your breast stroke. Next, I need the pink fish. There are two pink fish. And now, let's see the yellow fish. Seven yellow fish join the two pink fish. Now, there are nine fish. Seven combined with two makes nine. Now let's see your backstroke, fishies. Last but not least, let's see my silver fish. Now, where's my gold fish? All right, seven silver fish join with the two gold. Two and seven make nine altogether. And lobsters, look at that! The gold and silver fish look like a million bucks. Now let's see your butterfly stroke. Great job, all my fishies! Now let's all swim together. Back, fishies! Group swimming lesson. I need the blue fish and the red fish, front and center. Pronto! Yippee! Hooray! We rule! All right, all right. Can the chatter. I need the same number of fish in each group. But I can see we've got a problem. There are seven blue fish and six red fish. It means a difference of one. So one of you blue fish another group. Okay, we have six red fish and six blue fish. I want to see you fishies do a zigzag stroke. Go! We'll zig! Oh, you zag! We'll zig! I said we're zigging! You're zagging! We don't want to zag! No! Everybody does the zigzag stroke! Let's go! Okay, I want to see the pink fish and the gray fish. Let's see. There are seven pink fish and one gray fish. Holy mackerels! That's a difference of six fish. Off you go, extra pinks. Now I need to see a perfect backflipping. Okay. 
Okie dokie. I'd like the orange fish and the green fish here. Weeping walleye. Nine green fish, six orange fish. That's three more green fish than orange fish. And remember, we want the groups to be equal. So, three greens will have to find another group. See you later, alligators. <laughs> alligators, where? where? No gators. <laughs> no worries. Okay, let's see the front stroke, fishies. All righty. I want to see the turquoise fish and the gold fish. Let's see. There are nine turquoise and three gold That's a difference of six fish. Off you go, six turquoise. Excellent. Now, I need to see a perfect butterfly stroke. Okay. Now, where are my black fish and my purple fish? <laughs> we oh, have a snack first? Snacks later. Now, listen up. There are nine purple fish, and I see black fish. That makes two more purple fish than black fish. So two of you purple fish will have to wait for another turn. Hey, it's backstroke time, fishies. See you on the flip side, coach. Last groups. I'd like the white fish and the brown fish. Come on! Last one in the water loses! You're already in the water, remember? I see nine white fish and I see two brown fish. That means one more white fish than brown Can I get seven volunteers to find another group? Now! Let's see the breaststroke, fishies! Whee! Bye, Coach! Bye, bye, Coach! Thanks for the Thanks lesson! For the lesson! <laughs> Hold up, fishies! I'm coming, too! Welcome back, fishies! It's time for the annual fishy school races! Up, the orange fish versus the green fish! <laughs> Good thing I remembered to stretch. Wouldn't want to pull a fin. Whoa! The team needs the same number of fish to make the race fair. I see eight orange fish and one green fish. I need seven more green fish to join the one green fish to make eight on the green team. Better. One and seven make eight. Now we have two fair teams of eight. On your mark, Get set, go! And they're off! Next up, the brown fish and the red fish. Wait, I left my swimming goggles in my locker. Me too. Your fish! What do you need goggles for? Just trying to win the race, Coach. Sorry, back later. Okay, just a second. I see seven brown fish and eight red fish. That's not fair. I need one volunteer to race later. Great! Eight, take away one, leave seven. Now we have two teams of seven. Red fish, brown fish, on your marks, get set, go! Okie dokie. I want to see the black fish and the purple fish. Hmm, I see ten black fish and two purple fish. Here's the rest of the purple team. The other purple had a soccer game today, coach. Oh, for crying out loud. This kind of thing makes me crabby. You called me, coach? No, no. I was saying I was feeling crabby. Black team, I need eight volunteers to sit out this race. Right. When you take away eight, you have two left. Two teams of two. That's fair. Purple fish, black fish, and your marks. Get set, go! Next up, we have... Here come the first two teams, orange and green, headed for the finish line. It looks like, yes, the orange team crosses the finish line 
the green team. The orange team wins. Whoa, clear the starting area. Here come the red fish over the finish line. You two are way out in front. No sign of the brown team. Hey, didn't you two go back to the locker room for your goggles? Yeah, oh, we got him. And then we caught up. We're really fast. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Hold it. You had two redfish, the ones who left to get their goggles, cross the finish line. Then seven more redfish crossed. Seven added to two is nine. The brownfish team only had seven racers. That's not fair. Hot dogs, get them while they're hot. Redfish, you had nine racers. Six just swam away. Only three redfish racers left. Does that mean we win, coach? It is whoever gets to the hot dog cart first. Four. Two. Two added to four makes six. Six. Four. Six take away four leaves. Three. One. Three and one make four in all. Four. One. Four take away one leaves three remaining. Five. Five. Five combined with five gives you ten all together. Ten. Five. Ten take away five leaves you with five left. Lunchtime. Hey, Murphy, old pal. I'm not here to sell you the greatest number machine ever. Me. Just wanted to show it to you. Ta-da! The Nifty 950? It adds and subtracts. Imagine that. Oh, but you're eating your lunch and I'm interrupting, so I'll be leaving now. Hey! Think I could give it a try? Will you do me the honor of finding out what 31 combined with 27 is? Oh, <laughs> we wouldn't want crumbs in the Nifty 950. 31 combined with 27 is just another way of asking what's the sum of 31 and 27 or what's 31 put together with 27. We're just adding here. A real numbers guy, this one. <laughs> oh. Pull the handle to get the answer. I like to figure out the answers first, you know? Make sure the Nifty 950 is working. Okay, first we add the numbers in the ones place. Seven plus one is eight ones. Then we add the numbers in the tens place. Three tens plus two tens is five tens. So five tens is 50, and with the eight ones, we have 58. 58, kapow! I could do this all day. <laughs> Me too. What about 64 take away 13? Take away, huh? That means we subtract 13 from 64? I love to subtract. First, start with the ones column. Three subtracted from four is one. 
Next, we move to the tens column. One ten subtracted from six tens is five tens. So five tens is 50, and with the one, that gives us 51. 51, look at that. Ready for another, Murph? What do you think? Here it comes. 86 is how much more than 75? When we ask how much more a number is, that means we want to find the difference. So we're going to subtract again. Of course, we start with the ones column. 6 minus 5 is 1. Then I go to the tens place and subtract 7 tens from 8 tens. That gives me 1 10 and 1 1, which is 11. Ooh, amazing! But what if you start with 29 and put in 50 more? Put in 50 more, huh? I know when I'm asked to put more of anything in, I should add. Ho oh, ho! Can't get anything by this guy. Nine plus zero is nine ones. Next, we add the numbers in the tens place. Two tens plus five tens is seven tens. So seven tens is 70. Add that to the nine ones, we have 79. This is the greatest machine ever! Well, that's it for me. I couldn't eat another bite. <sighs> Excuse me? Uh, I said I'm late for another meeting. But where are you taking my nifty 950? I want it. Oh, this one's not for sale, pal. You'll get your very own model in 18 months. 18 months? I can't wait that long. Well, at least I still have my lunch to look forward to. Oh, Willie! Greetings, pilots. We have reports of meteors in your area. They're traveling in packs of ten. Destroy all ten in a pack, and your mission will be over. Space travelers, ten meteors approaching. Ready to mash some meteors, Miguel? Ready. Let them have it. Two meteors destroyed. If we take two meteors away from ten, how many meteors does that leave? Ten minus two is eight. Ten meteors approaching. Let's play a little ball. Four meteors destroyed. Ten minus four is... six. Ten meteors approaching. Yeah, it's time to clean a little house. Seven meteors destroyed. Ten minus seven is... Oh, three! We almost got them all. Ten meteors approaching. Oh, I've got just the trick. Ten meteors destroyed. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah! Woo hey! Awesome! Woo -woo -woo ten minus ten equals zero! We did it! Mission accomplished. Loading level two. Okay, meteor mashers. Otis needs a walk. Okay, Mom! Maybe we can play baseball, too. I'll get the gloves. abcmouse.com